Hey team, Cam here from Training Talk. Hey, I wanted to talk you through my latest blog post for those who prefer audio and video to reading blogs. So often I see coaches doing marketing in a really unstructured way. I think it's because lack of experience or expertise with marketing and they don't understand that there's a, a structure that any customer that starts at where they first get in contact with your business to where they actually become a paying customer. I see coaches jump, so I'm going to break it up into four stages and I see coaches inadvertently jumping into stage three and four. So let's break it down. So stage one is lead generation. Stage two is lead. Stage three is where you actually make an offer. And stage four is where you are delivering your actual product and services. That's where you're actually in the business taking care of that customer. So. What I find is coaches with their marketing, they just jump straight into making an offer and they spend all of their time either making an offer and then delivering the product or the service. So they're skipping out these first two stages. So lead generation. So lead generation is actually exposing your business to more potential customers. So that's a proactive. You need to proactively go out and do that. I mean. If you're not proactive, you might get some new customers exposed to you via referrals and that sort of thing, which is, which is great, but it's not really scalable and you won't really be able to grow your business in a big way that way. So lead generation. So that's process of attracting potential new clients to the business. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you, everything you're doing in these four stages should be specific to a niche that you've chosen. And it might not be so. Something really specific, like busy professionals wanting to race one without compromising work or when I mean, you choose yours, whatever's best for your business, I've lots of other posts about that sort of. So then that doesn't need to be the only customers that you're trying to attract. When you're doing marketing, you should be focusing on one of these niches at a time if you're more than one. So all these four stages, so you'll be focusing on that niche, so lead generation. So what are the things you might be doing when you're doing lead generation? So you're defining your target audience and niche. You might be creating a lead magnet. So that's like a free piece of content or something that you will offer in exchange for someone's contact details, typically their email address. You might be using social media and that could be paid or free to promote that free content that you're creating to get, to attract more people to your business. You might be attending events, you might be going to races. Having your tent out, you might be offering a free trial or something like that, just to get leads in the door. They'll give you, you might be optimizing your websites or search engines. So that just means when people are searching for things online, you've got content on your website that might attract those people. So you'll show up in, in the search results. And that's basically figuring out what people are searching for on, again, focused on your niche that we're talking about. What are people searching for online that you can answer those? Typically it's a question. So how do I do an Ironman without having to train 20 hours a week or something like that, whatever your niche is. And then you can write blog posts, create videos and things, answer those questions. And then after a period of time, you've wrote in a good post, then you'll get some search engine traffic. And other things are like collaborating with other coaches, brands or partners. So basically borrowing someone else's audience to get more leads in your door by exposing yourself to other people's leads or current customers. And so tools for that, you can use social media, social media and content, YouTube, social media platforms, your website and your blog podcast. I need to add that into the blog. That's good. Thanks for reminding me. And email marketing tools. So you need a way to actually capture your leads so they're in your audience and email an email marketing form is the best way to do that. So stage two, now you've got these leads, typically they don't they're new to you, so they don't know you. They don't lo know, like, or trust you. So you need to start to nurture them. So you typically do that by just providing more valuable content for free. So a lot of coaches do this, but they don't do it in a structured way where they've first gotten all of these new leads, and then they present them with all of this other content in a structured way, targeting those new leads specifically. Typically coaches just shotgun stuff out there and hope that the right people so in this, the activities for this stage, so again, we're talking about stage two lead nurturing is creating the valuable content that demonstrates your expertise and knowledge, 
use email marketing to stay in touch with those leads. So a lot of coaches has email marketing tools, but they never email their, their leads. And whenever they do email their leads, it's to try and sell them. So ideally you'd be sending out weekly emails, not trying to sell anything, just offering tips and advice based on that niche again, that specific niche. So they begin to know, like, and trust you. So you want to personalize all of this stuff to those specific pain points of that niche as well. And in your emails, you can also address common objections or concerns that people have about your services without directly offering retargeting campaigns and platforms. So once you get your leads into the system, lead generation, you can use tools like Facebook or Google advertising to target ads to those specific people. And those ads, I'm not talking about making an offer to your products and services. I'm using, I'm talking about using ads to distribute to those specific people, the nurturing stuff. So the, the extra content, you'll send it out by email, you might retarget them using advertising. And again, just continue to crack that content. So tools for that, retargeting tools, so Facebook, Instagram, Google ads. And again, you'll be using the same tools that you're using for lead generation for actually creating your content. But you've got about some examples of the email marketing platforms that you can use. Drip Convert Kit, Active Campaign, integrated with Training Tool, if you're a Training Tool coach. So not, not until you've done those two things, can you actually, should, should you actually make an offer to one of your paid products and services? So too often I see coaches starting with making an offer and just hoping that these random people will just buy something off them before they prove their expertise and before they built any trust. So I won't cover this too much, making an offer. So you want to craft a compelling offer. Again, it's all about the niche. What are their specific needs and goals of the niche that you've chosen? You want to clearly communicate your benefits and the outcomes of your coaching services. Not that, not just that you offer coaching services. You can offer a guarantee or a refund policy. You need to make sure your copywriting is on point just to make sure that you're articulating again, articulating the pains and problems that they have. So they see it and know that it's, and you might want to have some, some, or like a range of multiple options around pricing, but again, that it should all be for that niche. And then you want to use like a sales funnel or a landing page to guide the leads through this process as well. So same tools you were using to deliver and nurture of the content and nurture your needs here, you then use to making an offer. So then that can be again, targeting ads and again, email marketing. So you would put people through a sequence where you're nurturing them for X amount of time, sending them X amount of emails, 10 emails or something, all with useful, helpful stuff to free before you ever offer them anything. And then of course, this is what you guys know and you know how to do. Coaches know how to deliver an excellent product for us. So you know all about that, deliver great service. And that way you get referrals and testimonials, which then you loop back into your nurturing. So once you've got good customers and they're happy with the service, you can use testimonials and referrals then to build trust with new customers. So there you go. Basically, you want to make sure that you're covering all of these bases. And this is like a bit of a flywheel. It takes a while to get it spun up because you need to do these stage one and stage two first, but once it's spinning, it's just constantly going around and around. You're getting new leads, getting new leads in and the nurturing's happening automatically. And, and then you're making offers that's happening automatically as well. And then you're just delivering the product and service. So that's, that's a great way to think about how you should be structuring the marketing. I hope it helps. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise I'll see you next week with the next blog post. All right. Cheers.